everyone. This is Mr. Kazi, and I'm here again with another episode of the Atomic Models. And today we're going to talk about the planetary model. And the planetary model was brought forth by Niels Bohr. And Niels Bohr suggested that there were energy levels. And this was to deal with some of the problems that they had found with the Rutherford model and some of the things that didn't make sense. And the whole reason that we took time to study about light is that Niels Bohr took the ideas of the line spectra by Kirchhoff and Bunsen, took the ideas of quantum theory, and also used the ideas of Albert Einstein. And it came up with this new idea called the planetary model. He uh, called his energy levels orbits. And it basically came out of uh, what I call Bohr's conundrum. And Bohr's conundrum stated uh, or dealt with why don't the electrons crash into the nucleus? Because opposites attract. Now, understand here that we had the Rutherford model or the nuclear model. And the nuclear model suggested that we had this positively charged nucleus with these electrons in the atomic space. Now, also, it was considered that the atom was mostly space. And these electrons were negative. The nucleus was positive. Why aren't the electrons attracted to the nucleus? Why aren't they crashing into the nucleus and destroying it or having matter fall apart? But that just wasn't happening. And Bohr found this very concerning. And so I call it uh, Bohr's conundrum. But he looked at the ideas of, and the ideas that were coming out of the photoelectric effect, basically Albert Einstein's ideas and Max Planck's ideas and those ideas from the line spectrum and the new ideas behind light that light was both wave and particle. And if light could be particle also with these photons, then possibly the whole reason that we see a line spectrum is the way light is uh, released. So using the wave particle duality, the quantum theory, photoelectric effect, and the elements line spectra, Bohr put together a new idea. Basically, he took the Rutherford model and added energy levels. And his hypothesis was, what if the electrons were in energy levels? Determined by the balmer ryberg equation, and the lines were produced by the releasing of photon, photons. Now this was a pretty radical idea because what he's saying here is that we're going to have this nucleus, this positively charged nucleus. We're going to have these electrons, but just instead of being in the space, they're actually going to be in locations that he calls energy levels. And these energy levels are determined by the solutions to the balmer ryberg equation. And the first solution would be the distance from the nucleus to the first energy level. The second solution would be the distance from the nucleus to the second energy level, and so on. And that when electrons are excited, they will jump from their ground state, their very lowest state, to an excited state because they've absorbed photons. And of course, you know the old adage, what goes up must come down. So then they will come down. But as they come down, they release photons in quantized amounts, that is in discrete amounts. So let, let's look at an example here. Watch my graphic. Let's take an electron there. And then that electron is in its ground state. Now let's jump it up and boom, there it is. It's absorbed some photons, so it's gone to a higher state jumped up uh, into another energy level, then that's the excited state. Now let's release that and see that it goes back down to the ground state. That's kind of uh, pretty much what Bohr was saying about the electrons. So Bohr's model was that the atom is mostly space with a very dense positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons located in energy levels, which he called orbits, because he saw it as um, very similar to our solar system, and that's why we call it the planetary model. Now, if you have any questions, remember you can shoot off an email 
to me, Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. You can also go to mrkazi.com and find the chemistry uh, web pages and look for things there. You can find several of my videos on the web page or at you on YouTube, and you can find the PowerPoints on the web page. Send me an email if you have any questions, and happy holidays.